Your calendar, it is August the 9th, which means it's time for our monthly segment, KZI 9 Checks In. A monthly reminder on the 9th of the month for women to do a self-breast exam as to check for lumps or changes. This month, we're also focusing on breastfeeding and what new moms can and can't do. Here's KZI 9 News anchor, Renee McCullough. Joining me now is Dr. Joanna Higdon from Women's Care, and it is National Breastfeeding Month, so we wanted to start with the main benefits of breastfeeding. Well, there are so many benefits to breastfeeding for mom, for baby, and for the two. For mom, it can help get rid of some of that pregnancy weight right. that moms are trying so hard to get rid of. Uh, for baby, it's a wonderful source of nutrition. It's very easily digestible. And breast milk also passes on antibodies that can help protect baby from illnesses and even down the road from decrease the risk of getting asthma and other um, illnesses later in life. And it's obviously hard for some moms to breastfeed, so what should women do if they're having a tough time? So there are lots of resources that can help moms with breastfeeding. It can be a challenging thing to get the hang of. Yeah. Um, and so often we think of it as an easy and natural thing, but it's a lot of work. Talk, yeah. So they should talk to their OBGYN or their pediatrician. If they have access to a lactation consultant or a lactation nurse, that's a fantastic resource as well. And there are also support groups for breastfeeding moms that can be helpful as well. Moms cut out a lot of medications and foods to keep their babies safe when they're pregnant. So does that carry into breastfeeding as well? It does. Many and most medications are safe during breastfeeding, but it's important to talk to your doctor or your pediatrician um, before taking those medications. Smoking is definitely something that should continue to be avoided during breastfeeding. Okay. Alcohol can be safe in moderation as long as you allow time for it to be metabolized out of your system before breastfeeding. There are certain foods that you should avoid, such as fish that are high in mercury, okay. like shark, swordfish, king mackerel, and tilefish. Some foods can may be unsafe in high quantities. Uh, parsley and peppermint oh, are really? things that in, in, high, in high quantities can decrease breast milk, but when eaten in moderation should also be fine. Certain foods can make baby more fussy or cause some more gas. And although those things aren't unsafe to be eating during breastfeeding, you may want to try eliminating some of those things from your diet. Just for the sake of getting some more sleep, right? Yes. Uh, do women need breast pumps? There's so many options out there now. Right. There are. A breast pump can be a very helpful tool during breastfeeding, but it's not a necessary tool. Okay. Hand expression is another thing that can be used. But breast, pump, breast pumps can be very helpful and can be obtained through insurance generally. What about if you've tried everything and you can't breastfeed? And so now you're looking at formula. How do you decide what's best? Mm -hmm. Breastfeeding isn't successful for everyone, right. and it's important to remember that. So there are many formulas out there that are a good nutritious source for baby. Generally, you would want to start with a cow's milk formula, um, and it, only in occasional circumstances do you need to use soy for your baby. Okay. It, talking to your pediatrician is another thing that can be very helpful. Okay, great. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you would like to know more about what medications you can take when you're pregnant and breastfeeding, you can go to womenscare.com. Women's Care does offer some breastfeeding classes as well. They have a lactation nurse. Remember, be sure to go to our website to sign up for KEZI 9 Checks In. We'll send you a reminder each month to do your monthly self-breast exam.